This video is a reading of my poem, What Spirits Haunt. The poem is inspired by Singapore's very rich multicultural diversity, which connects with centuries of social and cultural heritage. The poem, What Spirits Haunt, was commissioned to play the role of an epigraph for the book, Portraits of Places, History, Community, and Identity in Singapore, edited by Brenda Yeo and Lily Kong in 1995. It was later published in my second collection of verse, The Worth of Wonder, released and launched in 2001. The book was featured in the Singapore media in the Straits Times and Today, and was read as part of a program over the Singapore River on a bum boat for the Singapore Writers' Festival in, an, uh, in an, a session curated by Verena Tay called Words Over Water. A, cele a celebration of the Singapore River and Marina Bay through Singaporean writing. What spirits haunt? A place remembered is always richer. Close, in hand, what was once a full store, illiquid assets can fall aside, falter for other investments to enter, dominate, until profit accrues, if at all, too late. Chinatown, Kampong Glam, Little India revitalized, may yet rejuvenate. But how many years before true essence or kindred bond is realized? Mourning at Tiong Bahru or other old estate, an immigrant chorus of the forest rings as bird cages hook onto the skeleton, cling to last surviving spine of territory. To what songs do accumulations of habit, robust rituals of community give credit? What music of the age, what love, peace, hate echoes in these open halls of locality? Every gopuram, minaret, spire and dome is a pivot, a fulcrum of a design for life. For those who would roam, it is a compass, an energy never supine. Yet from monuments spread over hillside sprawl, ancestral lines settle in temple urns. What spirits haunt high rise from incense pall? What treads Mark place as time's wheel turns. Pause a while, island of kaleidoscopic pose. Consider your shattered hues, fragments of self and uneasy finery pieced in this repose. And remember well before the colors jostle, delve. For this is plenty, this is poetry of place which lets no bulldozer bury, nor crane crucify. This is the passing of a one-time grace that art recalls, revives without resupply. These are gifts to a lived memory, a joy from such exertions as mind and heart employ. Thank you.